What's up YouTube, Adam here, and in this video, I'm going to be bringing you a full tour of some of the accessories that I use with my new late 2013 Mac Pro. Now, I've been asked so many questions as to which USB 3 hub I use, what am I using for external storage, what mouse and keyboard do I use, etc. So I thought I would bring you guys this video just detailing exactly what I do use. Now, all of the links to where you can purchase these will be down in the video description, so check that out if you actually want to go ahead and purchase one of these products. Now, first up, we have the USB 3 hub that I use. Obviously, USB 3 only just come in to the Mac Pro, which is ridiculous, but hey-ho, we can now have some fast I.O. through the USB ports. And the one that I actually went for was this one. Now, this has got seven USB 3 ports on the front of it. Very attractive device, so you could actually leave it on display. But in addition to that, it's also got two 2.1 amp charging ports as well. So you can plug in your Android device or your iPhone, iPad, whatever it may be, and you're going to get a full 2.1 amp charging port for both of those devices, which I think is a nice little touch. You've also got a power switch as well, enabling you to turn everything off all in one go. Now, next up, this is not the mouse that I use, but it is an additional choice that you may want to make. A very small, very sleek mouse. This is the T631, specifically designed for Mac by Logitech, and this is their ultra-thin touch mouse. Now, this mouse really is absolutely tiny. It has an absolutely minimal actual profile, and is really, really nice to use. Now, you may not want to use this with your Mac Pro, but it would be very, very nice on your travels. When you compare it to the size to the actual Magic Mouse from Apple, you can see just how small it is. And I've been using it and it actually works extremely well. And I definitely recommend this product for anyone specifically really for those on the move. Now, another product in terms of accessories for the Mac Pro, the Magic Mouse. This is the one that I use. I love the touch sensitivity on the top. Very nice for both scrolling and also navigating between applications. I find it very, very responsive. The only downside I find is the batteries don't last a particularly long time. Now, what do I use for a mouse mat? Now, this is the Just Mobile Alu Pad, and I think this is an absolutely beautiful mouse pad. Really does look extremely nice. Really, really nice materials. It is a little bit pricey, but again, I've got to say, it does look absolutely stunning. And the only other downside to it is, it is just a little bit noisy when you're moving the mouse around. Now, next up, keyboards. Now, you've got a few choices here. First up, you have the wireless keyboard from Apple. Now, I don't particularly like this keyboard. I really like a keyboard with a number pad, but it is, again, a very beautiful little device. Really, really nicely made, fantastic keys, and a very, very slender profile. Now, when you compare it to my new keyboard that I'm actually using all the time, the Logitech K750, you can see that the actual size of the wireless one is very, very small in comparison. And the downside of the wired keyboard from Apple is that it does obviously have that wire. Now, my new keyboard, the K750, is absolutely fantastic. Very, very pleased with it. Absolutely love the fact that you never have to change the batteries. It's completely solar powered. Now, this thing, I actually thought maybe I would have to put it by a window or have some direct sunlight on it, but these little photo cells actually suck up any ambient light in the room, and that is enough to actually charge it, and I've not had any issues whatsoever so far in using this, no having to plug it in or buy new batteries, and the keys themselves are absolutely beautiful. Really, really nice response, nice and soft, and nice and dynamic as well. Feels like good build quality, and you can even press a little button here just to check that you're getting enough power from the ambient light to charge your keyboard. Now trackpads up next and obviously there is the Apple version. I personally prefer this one to any others that are out there on the market today but Logitech do have an alternative again. Now I think it's great that Logitech make all of these products for the Apple suite. This one in particular is actually a very, very nice product. Again, great build quality, very, very durable. And this one has built in batteries that you can use, use again and recharge them directly from the actual USB port that's on the back of it. Whereas on the Apple one, you've actually got to put in new batteries every time you want to add some extra charge to the device itself. 
Now the Apple one, like I say, I do really like it. I think the build quality is fantastic. It's got a very, very nice responsive glass top to it and it really is a great, great little product. Quite pricey, but I think you'll actually enjoy it once you start using it. Just a quick comparison there of the two so you can see that they are very, very similar in both terms of looks and also size. Now next up we have the Apple TV and you may be thinking what has this got to do with a Mac Pro? Well the latest Mac Pro has now got support for AirPlay mirroring and that is why the Apple TV is a great accessory. Now the reason for that is that you can actually plug this into any TV or even a monitor in fact if it supports HDMI and once you've got it connected in and plugged in you can literally just connect it up over the wireless network a little icon appears in the top of your Mac window and then you can simply choose to actually either extend your display onto this monitor as an additional monitor or actually mirror it if you want to. Now just to show you exactly how that works, you can see here I have now used this as an extended monitor in addition to the actual six monitors that I've got at the moment, bringing me a grand total of seven. And here we go, and this is a full 1080p display, and you can see that it plays back video over that wireless connection, no problem whatsoever. And you can use this just as a completely separate wireless monitor, really, really nice little product. And again, all of the links for these are down in the video description. Next up, and I like to use this little USB 3 case. You can put any hard drive in here. I've opted for a four terabyte drive, but you can use any 3.5 inch drive that you want. This is actually quite an attractive little unit, a nice sort of black brushed aluminium. You simply plug your SATA drive in, connect it up, slide it back together, screw it in, and you have a fantastic little USB 3 drive. Very, very good speeds from this, and very, very impressed with the build quality. Now for a slightly smaller option here, we've got the 2.5 inch drive that I use. And this one, I have a SSD installed on it. Again, for fast access to data, because the internals of the Mac Pro really just aren't expandable in any way whatsoever. So relying on these kind of devices for external storage. Now you can see this one, quite a nice little device, very, very attractive, USB 3, no power supply required. You simply plug in your SSD, slide it back together, and you're off and ready to go. Plug it into your Mac Pro, and you're all set. Anyway, guys, that is it from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and give it the thumbs up. All of the links to all of these products are down in the video description. Have yourselves a great day, and I will see you all in the next video. See ya.